Being a donor can be a very rewarding experience and is a life-saving measure for the patient. The donation process can cause strong feelings, especially if the transplant does not succeed. These feelings range from stress during the process to great joy or feeling sad after the donation. By donating for a patient, you are doing all you can to help them. You cannot control the success of the transplant or whether the patient lives or dies. Donors should not feel personally responsible for the outcome. We encourage the donor to discuss any concerns they may have with the transplant team. We usually describe it as similar to dialysis. Uh, you may have seen a phoresis machine if you've ever donated blood. That's how they also collect platelets. They connect you to two IVs, usually through your arms if possible. Uh, one will be drawing the blood out and one will be returning the blood to you after the machine processes everything that it needs. Uh, there's a set goal, so usually for a donor it's maybe one or two days of collection peripherally. We usually anticipate it takes about four to six hours of being in the phoresis chair. So be prepared to spend that time kind of stuck in a chair. And most of the side effects are related to the growth factors you receive for four consecutive days before the phoresis. Uh, it involves uh, what's called Nupigen or GCSF is often what we refer to it as. You'll get four doses, usually in the morning, and they're high doses. Because of the high doses, people have bone pain. That's the biggest thing. People can also have abdominal pain, which we watch for, which is why we require people to be in the area for the mobilization piece. During the phoresis, because of the anticoagulant they use, it causes a low calcium level in your blood. The low calcium level creates kind of this numbness and tingling feeling in your fingers and toes, and they want to know about that and any other symptoms you may be having during the collection as well. They may be having you have to take some Tums or some calcium IV to deal with those side effects as well.